diamonds in the rough. NFL Draft Diamonds. Time to shine. Jimmy Williams with NFL Draft Diamonds, and today I have with me James Gillespie, who's a wide receiver at Widener University. How you doing, sir? Good. How are you, Jimmy? I'm pretty good. Just hanging in there. Uh, why don't you go ahead? Just give me a brief summary of your career uh, so far. Yeah. So, uh, you know, coming out of high school, wasn't the most recruited guy. Um, I was looking at D1 AA schools at first. Um, throughout my senior year in high school, it seemed like the schools had you know, started to dwindle down a little bit. Um, less and less calls from schools like that. Um, started looking at Division Two and Division Three, um, And it came down to three schools. Um, and it came down to the last possible day to, to pick a school. It came down to Widener University, Lycoming College, and uh, Delaware uh, Valley University. Um, ultimately I picked Widener. Um, it, you know, it felt like home way. Um, it was just the right fit for me. Um, love the coaching staff came in right away as a freshman and started at receiver, um, couple games for some hurt upperclassmen guys. Um, primarily saw action, um, in special teams being a kick returner, punt returner, gunner, um, and that year, it, it was just a confidence builder year, I feel like. Um, it allowed me to come into sophomore year and have a whole new perspective on on a football. Um, season went well in my sophomore year. Again, another year where, you know, I was kind of more in the spotlight. Um, it was a little bit different um, than my, my career in high school. Um, so that just gave me that extra confidence boost. Um, I came out my junior and senior year, and I was pretty much our, you know, number one wide receiver. Um, and obviously junior year, I had that lapse, um, with my collarbone. I broke my collarbone in the fourth game. So it, it halted some of that season, but ultimately I, I recovered from it. Um, I came back my senior year, I had over 1300 yards, um, a handful of touchdowns and, uh, was our conference player of the year. So, um, I came back strong and, uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, this past season was uh, very good for you. I mean, like you said, I mean, getting over 1,300 yards on uh, 75 receptions, uh, a whole bunch of touchdowns, um, offensive player of the year, all those things are great. Um, so, James, um, what kind of a receiver would you say that you are? I mean, are you like a, a slot receiver, receiver, an outside receiver, a speed guy, a possession guy? Like, how would you define yourself as a wide receiver? Yeah, um, at this level, um, I definitely think I'm bigger and faster than most of the other receivers. Um, so in that sense, I am a downfield threat. Um, and I can be a downfield threat at, at any level, I think. But um, I think my sweet spot is, you know, that possession receiver, that sure-handed receiver, that, you know, third and six guy. Um, you know, it, it's my ability to find the open holes, um, to get open, um, basically just run good routes, good clean routes, and then make sure I use my hands um, and catch the ball. Cool. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, I have you in my notes, you know, about 6'2", uh, 195 pounds. So, you know, pretty decent size as a wide receiver. So, I mean, uh, that does kind of put you obviously on the outside, um, you know, could definitely keep you out there, you know, on all downs, you know. Um, so, um, just going to ask you, what do you think is like the best part of your game? Like the best thing you bring to the table? Um, so what, what you got for me, what's the best thing you think um, it sets you apart? Um, definitely my game IQ, um, my ability to, you know, make decisions fast and on the fly, especially, you know, in such a fast paced game. Um, and I learned that as a freshman, you know, the, the game speed was completely different. Um, even at the division three level than high school. Um, so it's kind of, you know, just knowing what you're going to do on that play. Um, a lot of guys struggle with that, with reading defenses, reading coverages. Um, and I think that's one of my, sh my stronger points um, in my game. Um, and then it's just my, you know, athleticism. Um, I'm able to, you know, adjust to that back shoulder ball. I'm able to run past cornerbacks. Um, 
and most importantly, I'm able to catch the ball, um, which you look for in any receiver. Um, but I would definitely think, think um, that my football IQ stands out the most. Um, just being able to read defenses, read coverages, uh, know where I'm going to be on the play. So let's just talk a little bit more about that, uh, you know, game IQ. I mean, uh, you're actually a very experienced guy there, um, you know, team captain, you know, leader really, uh, you know, on that team. Um, and um, I mean, I realize that you do a whole lot of, uh, you know, studying in the film room. So um, let's talk about the film room because uh, obviously you spend some time there. So um, how do you break things down when you're in there studying your opponent? Um, this year I did things a little bit differently. Um, I stopped looking at the team as a whole, I feel like. Um, I started to break down individual cornerbacks and safeties, um, sometimes outside linebackers. Um, but I would take four or five guys from the starting opponent um, defensive back unit, and I would just kind of pick them apart, what their tendencies were, uh, what they're like in their backpedal, what they look at before the play, what they're looking at during the play. Um, how they turn their hips, stuff like that. Um, and I would just kind of get a feel for these guys. And so I could make my decision process shorter uh, when I'm playing the game. Um, this really helped. Um, I did it for every game. Um, and I feel like I was very successful with it um, because it kind of gave me that immediate advantage over um, the defensive backs. Um, so that's what I did in the film room. And then all together, you know, I would just, just constantly pick apart what that, uh, secondary does. Um, so that's basically what I did. Well, so, I mean, again, that's, uh, it's evident that you did pick apart those teams, you know, I mean, obviously it can be an offensive player of your conference. So I mean, obviously, uh, you know, set yourself apart. Um, talk to me maybe about one of those, uh, one of those plays, man, maybe one of the most memorable moments that you've had in your career so far. Um, uh, tell me a highlight that sticks out so far uh, for you in your career. Yeah, so it would have been this year. Um, it was last September. It was our opening game. Um, we're at Rowan, which is a team that we always open up against with each year. Non-conference game, non-conference rival. Um, we're at their place, and it's um, third and 18. Um, in the fourth quarter, we're up by three, and um, we're knocking on the red zone store. So um, we call four verticals, and I'm thinking to myself, why are we taking a shot right here? Why don't we, you know, go and get the first down, do what we can? Um, but, you know, I had a great uh, relationship with my quarterback at the time. His name was Sean McGacky, um, and he was been throwing me back shoulder balls all night, um, and this one he put right on top of the uh, defensive back's helmet, allowed me to go up and get it, and I got 24 yards on it. Um, we scored later that drive. I scored on a, like, a five-yard touchdown catch. I came off to the sideline, and my coach uh, said, you know, great job on that, on that catch. And I was thinking he was referring to the touchdown. He was referring to the third and 18 from a couple plays before. Um, so at the time, I didn't realize how important that play was. Um, but it's something I can, you know, play back again and again in my head um, as if it was yesterday. Cool. So, um, James, I, I realize that you're, um, all, that you're a really good athlete and that you also have some experience as a basketball player and actually eventually made your way onto the court there uh, at, at Widener University. So uh, talk to me about your experience as a basketball player and maybe how that has uh, helped translate to the football. Yeah, um, I mean, I played all throughout high school. So in that sense, I was always conditioned and everything. Um, this past season for Widener, um, I came to the coach when I was a junior and asked to play on the football or on the basketball team. Um, and he's never had a football player play for him before. So it was kind of experimental. But um, I came out, you know, I was the least conditioned on the team, even after playing an entire football season. Um, but it kind of just whipped me into shape. Um, I didn't play much. I didn't really expect to play much, but I figured it's my senior year. I might as well go out with a bang, do everything I possibly can while I still have the time. Um, and I just became, you know, more of a mentor and big brother some, to some of those younger guys um, on my basketball team because uh, my success on the football field can still 
you know, translate on the basketball court um, in a way, you know, about work ethic, stuff like that. Um, so I mainly just became like a big brother to those guys um, while still at the same time having fun. You know, I, I like playing basketball. I enjoyed my time on the team. Um, so, yeah, it was a good experience. Cool. I mean, definitely a guy with a basketball background. I mean, I realize also your brother plays for Villanova. Mm -hmm. uh, so kind of a cool thing there to be able to, you know, play a pickup game, you know, go yeah. head to head with him, you know, see who can, you know, see who, who can get the best game of horse or 21 in the backyard or something. I mean, uh, definitely uh, some fun time. So not, it's not fun anymore. Whips my butt. <laughs> um, so um, let's just talk a little bit about who you are, you know, like kind of outside of sports. Um, what are you doing there as a student um, at Widener University? Um, and maybe any other uh, hobbies, interests, or, or passions that you want to talk about? Yeah. Um, I mean, I studied accounting at Widener. Um, I'll get my diploma this December of 2020. Um, kind of put off getting my diploma just so I can come back. But um, everything happened with coronavirus. Um, uh, I'm estimating right now for a construction company, keeping busy. Um, aside from that, you know, hobbies, I've always been a very artistic person. I like to draw, I like to paint. Um, never been a video game guy, so I was always that kid out in the, out in the yard playing with the stick or something like that. Um, just, yeah, sports. I like to hang out with family and friends. Um, and, you know, I'm, I just try to, you know, be a good person. Um, I'm a goofball here and there all the time. Um, but other than that, you know, I'm just an easygoing guy. And, um, I like that fun. Cool. So I was just going to uh, ask you kind of on the fly, like uh, if you, if you're watching TV, uh, is there like maybe a, a, like a TV show that you you've been binge watching lately because, you know, being stuck inside with quarantine and stuff, what's going on? What's the, uh, what, you, what do you binge watch? Um, I mean, my favorite show of all time is The Office. Yeah, my favorite show of all time is The Office. Um, I, I've been, I've binge watched that like 10 times. Um, <laughs> it's just something, it's background noise to me now, but uh, I watch that all the time. Cool. Hey, um, very, very quick, I, I do want you to uh, give a shout out to maybe some of the, uh, you know, people in your life that have helped get, get you to uh, where you are today. Um, talk to me maybe about some of those uh, coaches and, and mentors in your life. Um, uh, go ahead. Give me, give me, give me something. Uh, let's give those guys a little bit of love. Yeah, so it obviously starts with my parents um, since day one. You know, they've taught me everything, how to be a, a good person, how to be a good athlete, how to be, be a good student. Um, so ultimately, you know, they're going to be my first shout out. Um, I like to shout out my siblings. My sister, Victoria, um, was a really good, um, swimmer. She was a division one swimmer at Delaware and kind of just, you know, showed me and my younger brother what it's like to be a, a successful athlete like that. Um, and then I'd like to shout out my brother, Colin. Um, obviously he's playing basketball at Villanova, so he's not here right now, but, um, you know, growing up, if it wasn't, you know, for those fist fights in the driveway after, you know, heated competition, you know, I don't know where we would be. But um, some other guys I'd like to shout out is uh, all my coaching staff at Widener, Coach B and that coaching staff. Um, my coaching staff at Wood, Coach Devlin, Coach Stengel. Um, and then when I was younger, um, I had two mentors, two coaches that, you know, really taught me not so much about you know, the game of basketball or the game of football, but more of, you know, that's this game of life, um, how it is to be a good individual, a good person, um, someone, you know, people can always count on. Um, and that is Coach Craig Sharp and uh, Coach Rich Miller. So those are guys that, you know, really taught me um, a lot. Well, kind of along the same lines, um, give me maybe one or two guys uh, there at Wadener that we really need to know. Um, you know, who, who there uh, has impressed you over the years? Um, a young guy, his name is Ty Holbert. He's a receiver, transferred in from Moravian. Um, he's able to make the big play, you know, while also learning on the fly. He learned really fast. Um, and then another guy is Johnny Bauer, a real hard-nosed kid, hard-nosed running back. 
um, not afraid of anything on the field. You can virtually put them anywhere. You can put them in the backfield. You can put them in the slot. You can put them on defense at linebacker. Um, but, yeah, those are two guys that have really impressed me. Great. Um, as we begin to wrap up, um, I, I try my best to ask this question to everybody, and that is just, just your why. Um, why do you play football? Yeah, um, this is something that we ask at Widener. Um, it's kind of our, you know, why we wake up in the morning, our motivation. But um, my why would have to be um, kind of just proving people wrong to say. Um, you know, I wasn't the most recruited guy. I got passed up on by a lot of people um, in the recruiting process coming into college. Um, and it kind of took a toll on me um, emotionally. Um, I didn't think I was good enough to play college football. But um, clearly, I was. Um, and it's just that, you know, I would go out every week, you know, wanting to make a statement, um, kind of, you know, prove to people that I, I do belong in college football and I can be successful in this sport. Um, so that would be my why. Great. And very final question I have for you, James, is uh, just give, give the professional teams out there your pitch. You know, why should they take a chance on? a wide receiver out of uh, Widener University. Uh, what would you bring as a teammate? Yeah, um, I mean, first of all, you know, it's it's the intangibles that I have. It's the effort. It's the attitude. Um, relentless effort, every possession, every play, every minute, every second of the game. Um, and just me as a teammate, um, I lead by example. Um, I'm not a, a big, you know, get in your face kind of guy. Um, I kind of you know, try to bring others along with me, um, guide them in the right direction, um, whether it's in the film room, on the field, uh, in the weight room. Um, I'm just, a, you know, a guy who, you know, is going to try to help others. Um, if, you know, if I'm not the one on the field, I'm going to make sure the guy who is on the field is doing his job the right way um, and ultimately helping teams win. Um, and I think that would be my pitch. Cool. Well, I mean, obviously, um, it, at the very least, this past year was an excellent year uh, for you in college. Um, I mean, I realize, obviously, you know, having that one year where you, you know, got banged up, you know, kind of set you back a little bit. But, I mean, if, if you could build upon what you did, like, this past season, I mean, really sky's the limit. I mean, uh, I, I mean, again, just a great season this past, uh, this past uh, season. So, um yeah, a lot going for you. I mean, very productive, um, you know, good team player, uh, very, very passionate, driven guy. Um, so, yeah, definitely a, a player that um, really needs a little bit more attention from scouts. Um, James, this has been cool just kind of sitting with you, uh, chit-chatting about uh, a little bit of everything. Uh, I, I do wish you the best of luck moving forward. But, uh, again, this is James Gillespie, a wide receiver out of Widener University. Uh, check him out. Thanks again, man. Appreciate it, Jimmy. Thank you.